good morning friends oh my god my hair is a hot mess <laughs> um so it is sunday morning it's like 9 30 10 o'clock i don't know whatever time it is um i just slept in so late but i guess i needed it because um i didn't set an alarm and i just naturally woke up at like nine but i was tired i guess um so oh jesus so um, the dogs are outside right now, but I am getting ready to take them to the dog park because the weather has been so bad. They've been cooped up, so they're going a little crazy and they're driving me crazy. So they need to get like out and about a little bit. Um, so we're going to go do that before it gets too hot out. I think it's supposed to hit like 90 today so i want to get them some exercise because a they need it i feel bad um i haven't been taking them to the dog park much lately because i don't know we haven't had the best experience lately um there have been some not nice dogs there um but the last time i went last week it was fine it was chill so we're gonna try and go early so that way it's not as crowded, it's not hot, and maybe there will be nice doggies for them to play with. Um, so, um, I think I'm going to stop at Starbucks first. Um, we'll get a little pup cup. Mama needs a coffee. Um, so we're going to have a little, like, treat yourself day. Why not? What else do we have going on today? Well, I have a lot to do around the house. I'm going to do stuff. Um, but I figured this would be a nice way get some exercise go outside for a little bit uh, To start our day. So yeah, let's go. Are you ready? Come in. Come in Good boy Good girl We're gonna skip Brecky because I don't want you guys to get a belly ache if we go run. All right, car keys, e collar. Um, I think we need some sunglasses. They have a water fountain there, so we're gonna do that there. Are you guys ready? Oh no, you better sit if you wanna go anywhere. That's better. That's very good. That's a good sit much better are you excited yes you're so excited don't like off my sunscreen yes i know you're so excited you're so good boy oh. <laughs> are you happy <laughs> my children good morning what's your dog's name marshall oh. thank you Okay, thank you. I pulled into the parking lot to get situated. No, take it. No, I'm not gonna hold it for you. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, okay. Get it, oh, it's gonna be so sticky. Marshall, take it back there, take it back there. You gotta, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Okay. That's yours. Oh, oh God, oh God, oh God. It's a mess, here. Marshall is going in on his. Okay. There we go. Okay. Can you get it? And it's all over my seat. Perfect. Okay. Great. Good morning, everyone. I am getting ready for the day. Um, we got to do some morning skincare. So I thought I would show you my current morning Sorry, skincare routine. I've been up for a few hours. I did not sleep well last night. Um, I'm just like off. Um, I have been up since like 5.30. <laughs> um, but I'm just now gonna start getting ready for the day. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is cleanse with this La Roche-Posay um, purifying foaming cleanser. And this is for normal to oily skin. I love this stuff. It's pretty affordable and you get like a massive thing of it. I am struggling with a few little breakouts on my chin because my diet has not been stunning, but this stuff, um, I wouldn't say is the best at like removing makeup. I definitely have to double cleanse with it when I like 
use it at night, but um, I like it because it feels nice and clean, but does not strip my skin. I'm gonna throw my contacts in quick so I can actually see. So the next thing that I do is go in with this Paula's Choice um, 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. This is like a really popular one um, that I am almost out of. I wish I could be one of those people that like look cute when they wake up because you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and just take this down. I did wash my hair last night, which is strange for me to wash it during the week. Um, but I did wash my hair. So at least we have clean hair going for us. I don't even think I've told you guys, like I have um, weft extensions again and I'm loving them. Then I'm gonna go in with the Guava Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum from Glow Recipe. Um, I do have a really bad sunspot there and some just discoloration on my face that I didn't take care of my skin when I was younger and I mean not that I'm like old now but I didn't do what I should have been doing and I have some serious sun damage so if you don't want discoloration like this wear your sunscreen. I find that um, vitamin C can sometimes make me break out, but this one's been pretty good. I've been using it for over a year um, and my skin re reacts pretty good to it. For moisturizer, I'm gonna take a tiny, tiny, tiny bit because this stuff is pretty potent um, for daytime, for me at least because I do have oilier skin. Um, this is the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide moisturizer yeah i'm just gonna take a teeny tiny bit um because this is pretty thick and i'm just gonna kind of let that sit before i go in with my spf for the day spf is my last step obviously um but I want to give my moisturizer and stuff a second to like soak in before I start doing even more stuff. So I'm going to work on my hair first um, so that way it can cool while I do my makeup. Sorry, I'm like out of breath. I just ran up the stairs. Um, so I'm just going to use a one inch curling iron. Um and it's just an extended barrel. Um, I got this off Amazon for like 25 bucks. <laughs> to prep my hair, I'm gonna go in with the Chlorine um, Volume Dry Shampoo. Just give it a little shake. And like I said, my hair is clean, um, but I use this more as like a preventative, so my hair doesn't get oily because I typically will only do my hair like once a week. <laughs> Massage that in and I already have heat protectant in my hair um, from yesterday from when I blow dried it. Um, I need a heat protectant that I can use on dry hair but that is coming in my Sephora order on Friday, hopefully. I am gonna go in with just like a little bit of working hairspray just to prep it. Cause I have really fine thin hair that does not like to hold a curl very well. So if I don't, <coughs> if I don't prep properly, um, my extensions will be really nice and curly and my my hair itself will stay very straight and it looks ridiculous. And I just use a Tangle Teaser hairbrush. I'm kind of thinking about switching my part to give myself like a little bit more volume. What do we think about that? I'm not 
not a side part girly, but what if I just did like a, like a little almost like that. Is that cute? So I don't really section my hair because I want this to be kind of a messy beachy wave. Um, so I'm just going to take sections. And leave a decent amount out there. So it's kind of like a, I didn't leave enough out. So I'm just going to straighten it. So it's just like kind of a beachy wave. All right, so this is my outfit. I'm just wearing like a onesie with this tie-dye printed shirt on top. Um, I'm gonna be out and about today, so wanna be comfy. Um, I'm just gonna finish off my hair quick now that it's completely cooled. And also I just did a quick, easy makeup. So I'm just gonna start separating these curls. I think this side came out much better than this side, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna take the Verb um, Light Hold Weightless Grit Volume Spray, and I'm going to spray up into my hair. Because I'm so used to not washing my hair that often, I don't like clean hair. So I actually like the grit that this kind of gives. Cause it's not sticky. Just makes it nice and beachy. All right, and this is the final product. Just some cute little beachy waves. I'm gonna go put jewelry on and then we're off. So um, yeah, let's get our day started. So today um, got away from me to say the least. Um, it's like 6.30. Um, I'm about to throw on some dinner quick. Um, it was a really busy work day. I, uh, like I said, it got away from me. I did not anticipate it being so crazy, but it was. Um, so I really haven't vlogged like anything, um, but I'm hoping that, because I got a good chunk of stuff done today, that maybe I can vlog a little bit more tomorrow or tonight. We will see. And my kitchen is an absolute mess. I have a lot more to do around the house. But I had, like I said, a pretty hefty work day. So I'm going to take a load off and pour myself a glass of wine because... I deserve it. I did get some laundry done and do the dishes and stuff like that. So I was somewhat productive, but I just had a lot work-wise that I needed to get done. Um, so cheers. Mm. I'm gonna enjoy some rosé while I make some dinner. I'm just doing like an easy because I haven't been grocery shopping on a, in a long time that's on my to-do list to do as well um, I'm just gonna do this Trader Joe's Casio egg Pepe whatever I these pastas are so easy you can't go wrong um, and then I just have some frozen grilled chicken strips that I'm going to mix in there and then I might make like a salad on the side or something. It's hard going from cooking for one person to cooking for two people to going back to cooking for one person. Um, I don't even know if I said this. Um, Nick is in the field. He's been gone for like two weeks already. Um, we're on week three. He's supposed to come back next week. Um, I haven't really been able to talk to him or anything. So yeah, that's fun life lately. Um, I've just been chilling by myself and it's been good because I've been able to get 
a lot of like projects done and really focus on work and on myself. Um, but man, it's not getting easier. Like through all the deployments, through all of like the field exercises and everything, like I used to be like okay. And I don't know if it's because we're still like newer to this area and I don't have a ton like outside of work. Um, I'm lonely. I'm so friggin' lonely. Like this is not that fun. I miss my friends. I miss being in North Carolina. Don't get me wrong, I love Nashville, I love Tennessee, but it's just not the same. And like I said, I'm just a little lonely lately. Um, but he should be he should be home soon, which is good. I know the dogs will be super, don't judge what I'm doing right now. I don't know where my kitchen scissors are. Um, the dogs will be super excited to see him, which is always so cute, but no one talks about what an absolute pain it is to like, every time he leaves and comes back, I have to like relearn how to like be a good roommate and like we have to relearn each other's habits and like schedules and comings and goings and it's hard because he doesn't have like a good set schedule to begin with. Um, but that's okay. Like I said, I have a lot of work to keep me very busy but I miss my husband, man. And I also feel really bad because I know he's like out in the wilderness, like probably not having a great time right now. Oh no, sir, you better sit. Sit, stay. Is that your drool on the ground? Ew, oh my God, you're drooling so. <laughs> you're such a little piggy. Okay. I'm gonna watch some Shameless while I eat my pasta. Are you begging? You better not be begging. Give me a ball. Hey, good boy. <laughs> Mommy's gonna eat dinner now. You already ate. <laughs> you already ate. Where are you going? Go get that bottle of champagne that I promised you. Oh, oh, nice. No, 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 come on, one glass. This will kill you. Plus, you're gonna get the store set. Just pretty. 